Hey, what's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. You guys, you seem to really enjoy this game, and I'm glad you do because I really wanted to continue playing it. It's gripping in just about every way possible for me. The buildup to this point right here has been insane. It's been two episodes so far till we even got to see anything like this other than the intro. For those who aren't caught up, links will be down in the description below for the previous episodes if you would like to catch up. But to summarize it quickly, we are underneath the Hawkins Mansion. Our guy Pierce encountered a what they labeled as a thief that attacked me and we chased him down to this point. He was wearing a hood and obviously he's leading us to something that we shouldn't be a part of. Or I, I hope to not be a part of at least. Anyway, so we're gonna get down there, I guess. If you guys are still enjoying Call of Cthulhu, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what your favorite part is of this game so far and what you are expecting to happen because I'm a bit clueless given that I don't know much. Oh god. All right, uh, that is a strange statue. I'm just gonna creep my way up here. There's something on that table. Find the thief's trail. <laughs> oh no. There I am. What? There's a hole in the ground. Oh no. Game is saved, dude. <laughs> oh no, please let me out. Can I actually just, uh, can I go? Oh, I can. <gasps> Locked. Of course. All right, I, want, I don't want to use my lantern. Also, we got a lantern in the last episode, if you don't remember, uh, and it uses fuel. An engraved whalebone. Oh, a strange creature has been carved into it. Uh, Probably a figure of worship. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I don't know what, what tipped you off there, Pierce. The image of a strange creature has been carved into this whalebone. That's interesting. Character sheet. Oh, wait. Oh! <gasps> All right, so now that we've seen we're seeing the cult more, we're going to have our occultism be increased. Yes, we're at 15%. That's pretty good, dude. Do I have any uh I have a I have a point. Uh let's put that into um influence those to talk by the power of speech. Uh ability to find objects. I don't really care about that. I wish I could actually take some of that back. I would like to put in psychology, eloquence, investigation, psychology. That's probably going to be a little bit more honest. This is the direction I wanted to go, but it's not it's clearly not uh Dude, are all these things possible to see? I'm assuming a lot of them are going to be happening now. Things are starting to get really, really weird. A mass grave. What? How do you know it's a mass? Oh, right. All the intestines. I'm not going in there. Let me look at this shark. A table for sacrifice? Yeah. Uh, shark, shark. Or it could be an orca fin. Looks more like a shark fin. Oh my god, that's me! That's me, dude. That's so weird. Oh, no. Oh! Yo! Do, do I have to do anything? Yo! Oh, don't do that. Oh, God. No. No way. I got it. Ooh, dude. He's, like, right behind you. He fell down here, dude. There's no way he's not going to attack you. Oh, that's him. Please. No. What? Happening? I'm having a panic attack. Yo, is that him? He's dead. Oh, he's 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 fucking dead, dude. Oh my god, dude. I actually can't control this guy that well. Jesus, we fell. Obviously, if you haven't picked it up, this is the first part. I still have my lantern. This is where uh, we had our nightmare. This is our nightmare room. Oh my god. All right, open that up, dude. No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Yeah, thanks, Pierce. You're so observant. All right, I guess that's up here. Through all the trails. Oh, God. Oh, I can't get past it. God, the rumbling. The rumbling in my ears right now is it's way too real. All right, am I calm now? Am I no longer panicking? Wait. I didn't get to see if I can, like, loot him or something. All right, panic attack is a bit over. Wait, wait, what? What is that sound? What the hell is that sound? Oh, is that me? Oh, I see. Okay, so as I see things, I panic. I gotcha. Okay, let's get out of here, dude. You're starting to freak out. I mean, you're already rightfully freaking out. Let's just get up here and calm down. Stop looking at stuff. Just get out. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm gonna quickly pause for a second to catch my breath. I did not expect it to jump that far into the darkness so soon. I didn't... Actually, there's nothing else I saw. Just this guy. <sighs> Great. Squeeze on through. 
So the thief is dead. Is it? Oh. Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. My Good God, enough. dude. My God, Good dude. Us. It's like in my dream. Yeah, no it is. It's definitely like in your dream. Explore the caves. Consult diary. Okay. Uh, I just find it incredibly curious. I can't unlock it from here? Okay. It's- I, I'm very curious because this guy is who we were chasing. And at this very moment, I mean, I'm, I'm still a private investigator, and at this very moment, he's our direct, clean-cut, risk-free object of interest, right? Like, we could look on his person, he probably is carrying something. Why are we just- why do we literally just kill this guy and leave him there? But my interest is now drawn towards this guy, who is a new addition to the cult. Fantastic. What is this? It seems to have been used recently. Oh. Probably some sort of ritual. Yeah. Okay, I found this dagger in the tunnels under Hawkins Manor. Uh, its owner left it behind when he went for the, uh, the hood, other hood of men. Oh, this is the guy? Maybe he had a, uh, what is that called? A blood, uh, ritual, not a ritual, but you cut your hand and you shake the other person's cut hand and you share the aids with each other, you know? Okay, I got a book over here, Occultism. I can't read Latin. I can't read Latin, but my cultism went up by 10 points. Look at that. See, it's really weird because it says I need CP for the next level for occultism, but I can't actually use them. Move on forward. Oh crap, there they are. No, 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 no. Okay, so if I recall, oh no. Oh no, I was just thinking about the, what happened at the beginning. So I, I went out to the cults, just like I'm doing right now, uh, one of them is really messed up and is part Cthulhu, and he kills some guy that looks like a police officer with a gun. I'm assuming that's going to be Bradley, right? Oh my god. Wait, no, no, no. This is where the thing moved. Right, I found my lantern here. This is where that thing moved. Hello? Why am I- why am I here? Why am I doing this? Hello? Alright. Oh, oh, it was right there. It was right there. That's where the- okay. I don't want to be here anymore. I really don't want to be here anymore. I can't actually see anything. Hello? Any- anything to explore, talk about here? Wow, okay, there's a huge difference between the lighter and the, the lantern. I mean, go figure. Whoa! Oh, we're down here. Okay. <gasps> it just opens up! That's not me walking, by the way. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours. Oh, I do. Do I just sit here? Yibethnik, Hupadk, Cthulhu, Bethenko. Jesus, what the hell are they speaking? They're saying Cthulhu, so they're speaking that language. So that his. I feel it. You are gifted indeed. Not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. All you who sleep, we pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm just supposed to watch this, right? Alright, where is Bradley, dude? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to just keep going. This is where that thing was in the water. Oh no, I can walk on it? Okay, never mind. I thought it was solid for a second. It's not solid at all. <sighs> okay. I don't want to interrupt, right? Should I not do that? Oh god, there's people laying here. More sacred flesh. 
Oh, wait, is it gonna be you guys? What do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't want to interrupt. I might mess something up. I turn the crosshair off because I feel like I can judge myself where the center of the screen is, but I might, I might add it back just so we get the full experience, right? Well, the guy is extremely tall. Okay, I want to go over here. I'm just assuming we should sneak past this guy, right? These guys, are they dead? Oh, he's wearing the same mask. All of them are. <sighs> okay, what are you? Medicine. It looks like a kind of deep coma. What could this ritual have done to them? Uh, put them in the coma. Einstein? We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Right. Okay. Wait, who is talking? Okay, I'm just assuming that if I interrupt them, I'm gonna- it's gonna be bad. But I kinda wanna do it anyway. Just to see what happens, right? Let me see what happens if I just walk up on them. See how close I can get. Hi! <laughs> I am one of you. Okay, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> scary music plays. That is incredibly troubling. All right, I'm gonna try to go. Oh, hey, buddy. Can I do? It? Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Ugh. Take him out, dude. Woo! Oh, he got me. Oh, I fell through the rock, dude. Oh. Dude, what a game over noise. Holy crap. All right, last checkpoint. <laughs> Sorry. I kind of just had to do it. I So clearly I'm avoiding them. I can run. I can actually run from them though. That's good. There he is. Okay. Yes. He will join you shortly. I'm going to have to run. Aren't I? Nope. Okay. We're good. Who lit all these candles, dude? Who is maintaining this? I always hate it when I see candles like this. Like this is, th these would burn out. Oh, some of them are actually. Okay. I believe it. Oh no. Hey, dude. It's gonna start getting weird. You better prepare for it. Oh, no. Here we go. Someone's about to die. That really sucks. No, no, Bradley, no! What are you doing here? God damn it, Bradley. Bradley! Coming down. Seemed up to no good. That was not a good idea. What in the world is this? An yep. intruder! Oh shit! God damn it, Bradley! Don't move, police! Yeah, that's not gonna. Mm. Don't move! I really didn't want him to die. Oh my god, look at this guy. I won't hesitate. Bradley, get to back. Shoot. Get back. You asked for it. What are you aiming at his knee? Shoot him in the goddamn head. Oh. Wait, is that me? You shouldn't have Charles seen this. Hawkins? Okay, ah! all right, it all makes sense now. <gasps> Duh, the painting. God damn. Oh god, I have to play. Hold on. Sorry, I have to run. Run. Run, dude. I can't. I can't actually control him. Whoa! Okay. Um. Do oh. to get out of here. Oh, I'm getting out. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> this is actually really sweet right now. Uh. Oh, god damn it, dude. It's so loud. All right. Can't go that way. Up the stairs. Oh, I'm panicking. Why is he not having a panic attack right now, actually? Shouldn't that be happening? All right, up the stairs, dude. Just forget about it. Forget about it. Just go. Oh, God damn it. Am I dead? Did I fail? Ah! Uh, uh, my leg! Yeah, no uh, shit, dude. 
your everything probably hurts. That guy just caused a cave-in by hitting the wall. Fucking Charles, dude! That it makes so much sense now. Like, first of all, the painting. I totally forgot about that. And the discrepancies at the scene. Somebody left. That person wasn't on fire, dude. It was Charles. He left. Because he's fu oh snap, dude. Oh my god. That's actually hurting my eyes watching this. Sorry, guys. The blur on this and the chroma uh, chromatic aberrations hurts. Oh. They do a good job, you know, giving you the feeling that the guy's injured, right? It hurts a lot to walk around. Uh, oh, light. Right, so he's dead. So two guys were killed in the process. That's good. They spent a very long time getting into the cult. Light. At last. <laughs> Pierce, you're so slow. I saw that way ahead of you. Oh, crap. What's behind you? Oh, my God! It was a rock, dude. It was a rock. Riverside Institute, Chapter 5. Here we go. What in the hell am I looking at there? Uh, okay, so Pierce and Officer Bradley followed the intruder to the secret meeting place of the cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by a Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Uh, that's debatable. Uh, Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled, disemboweled the police officer as he tried to escape from him. Pierce found himself prisoner of a rockfall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he is in a critical state. Rush, rush to the Riverside Institute. What? An institute. You mean a hospital, right? I hope you mean a hospital. Oh no. Do you have some skinny forearms? Jeez, that doesn't even look like a forearm to me. Oh no, it was the it was that animal oil stuff. God, get out of my face, dude. Jesus Christ. Seizure. Oh, I wonder why. Could it be the foreign substance you drilled into my veins? This reminds me of Call of Duty Black Ops for some reason. I don't like that. Oh my God, she had a. I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. Whoa! You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. Bradley. What did you do to me? Why aren't you questioning him, Bradley? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. <sighs> you were dead. Okay. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was, he was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. <sighs> what? No! Again, let's go into another another comatose state, dude. It's it's great. It's, it's I'm just gonna wake up somewhere different. What the fuck? Bradley is alive. That's news to me. Oh, I'm in, in this. No! Why do what I have happened to be here, dude? Where am I? Is that Bradley? I need I had need to have I have a bone to pick with you, good sir. Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. I'm in an insane no, asylum. Please. This is so I great. Can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. No, you don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no. You're leaving this cell. Please. Is he blind? I don't want him to find me. He's blind. What in the hell? Oh no, I don't want to wait. No, I want to look around first. Hold on. Let me talk. I can't open the door. Clearly, dude. Come on. Is there anything else? Ha ha. <coughs> what? What in the hell? Did I just pass out? They're gassing me. What? Wait, 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 wait. They're constantly drugging me. This is great. What is this all for? What the hell did I do? Seriously. Okay. I guess one would say I'm in a dream, right? This is insane. Oh god, I'm not ready for this at all. Oh god, wait. Why is it so laggy? Why is it so choppy right there? Don't do that. Poor Pierce, man. This is not what he wanted to get involved with, right? I mean, it could have been my destiny. 
Oh god, there's people. Hang on, let me look around first. I don't think I don't think there's anything I can do really. Maybe. Maybe looking around. No, it would tell me if there was stuff underneath, right? Like it would have that little symbol. Okay, well, this episode so far has been non-stop thrills of insanity. I'm enjoying it so much. I hope you guys are too. If you are, let me know in the comments. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, they trapped and hunted me. Pursued me right into their dreams. Leviathan? Over their maps in the wake of my lonely wanderings. Leviathan. This is the guy that was talking to me in the dream in the beginning. The guy that was like, what a putrid offering. Oh, don't worry, dude. Don't worry, I'll be real quiet. You hear me? You hear me, guy? I'm gonna be real quiet. Jesus Christ, dude. I do not belong in here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Diagrams of the anatomy always scares me. I don't know why. Yeah, I'll be quiet, dude. It's the same guy at Cypher. With pink pants! <laughs> you never got unplugged from the Matrix, did you? All right. Uh, Jesus Christ, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Is dark enough to hide the color of my blood. No wind is strong enough to scatter my dreams. Leviathan. I don't like the sound of that. I wonder if that was it was that creature in the water. Oh my God! What if it's the miraculous catch? Because they keep talking about the- it's the biggest, most disgusting whale you've ever seen. And it was like- it was the thing that saved the town. Maybe it wasn't just from its meat. Maybe it was like an, a deity or something. Like Leviathan, who I'm talking to now. Leviathan is like a, a giant water creature, right? I believe that's what that is supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, I'm in full uniform. What? Pierce, you're losing your mind, my guy. You gotta keep it together. For the sake of the viewers. Oh no. I will not be here to bear witness to it because you will have released me. Stop! Pierce, think about what you're doing! will resound to your cries. Or theirs. Oh, That's an impossible thought, right? You there. <gasps> Wake up. Jesus Christ. On, Can you not up. do that? We don't have much time. Marie? Who is who are you? Seriously, who the hell are you? Can you stand up? Who are you? I just stood up. A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive. I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, good. I got some options. Uh, what do they do to patients here? How am I supposed to escape from here? You're not getting in too deep. Uh, I don't even know who I'm dealing with. Why but. should I trust you? I don't even know your name. All I have is a woman dressed as a doctor, which is not particularly reassuring. <laughs> I am Dr. Marie Colden. I work in this institute. But that does not mean I approve of everything Dr. Fuller does. He hides a lot of things from me. Especially on this floor. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. I do. Oh no, I don't get to do the other the other options. Like, it's probably only one anyway. Unless those symbols, like, 
there's like an unlock symbol. I don't know if that means like when I click that one, the conversation will end. Or that I unlock new things. I don't know. Um, but it's very interesting to me. Pierce stated, uh, you're pumping me full of so many drugs that I can't distinguish dream from reality. And that is a core theme in what I, from what I know of the story of, of Cthulhu, or the mythos, uh, and the stories around that mythos, and then Lovecraft's work altogether, is that the, the, the slow-paced drive into madness always becomes where dreams and reality become indistinguishable. And I think that's a beautiful, like, this is a beautiful point in the story so far, I feel like, because at this, at this very moment, moving forward, we'll have no idea. We are going to be going so mad. <sighs> I don't even know if I can trust this woman, to be honest. This guy needs to shut up. Can I kill? I mean, do you guys, are you guys really going to miss him if I just go in there and, oh, what right, this, this guy. <laughs> right. Let's, let's reconstruct this, this area. All right, what am I looking for? Oh, that would be a syringe. If what that's would they you inject asking. him with? Dude, something. Look how crazy he looks. Oh, fuck. Did he scratch out his eyes? <laughs> Who is this guy? Dr. Fuller? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Whoa, wait, 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 what? Who is this? Sarah. Yeah, Sarah Hawkins. This isn't Charles. Am I in an asylum? What kind of- Okay, this guy is not a good private- I can see why he doesn't get many cases. This guy is kinda dumb. The paintings are cursed. What did he write about the painting? Oh. Holy crap, yeah, he scratched out his eyes or something. Something terrible happened to his eyes, that's all I know. Alright, what else can I interact with? Oh, right here. Hey. Cultism. Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Dude, it's just a star with a dot in the middle. Come on. Or an eye. Come on. Dude, it's nothing, nothing big. Don't think about it too much. I actually- I have a conflict with Pierce, dude. Alright, so- oh wait, was that another thing? Hold on, hold on, hold on, on. Did I get a new, um, sanity thing? I did! I missed one! What did I miss? No! I didn't want to miss any! The ritual in the tunnels under the Hawkins mansion, Pierce witnessed the disemboweling of Officer Bradley by a man with a monstrous appearance. The men in gowns and their rituals had not succeeded in affecting the veteran. However, the brutal death of Bradley, the discovery of the identity of his killer, whom he recognized as the dead Charles Hawkins, as well as the latter's superhuman strength, uh, managed to strike fear into him. Pierce still does not know if he should believe what he saw. He may even put the visions of horror to the shock caused by the death of Bradley, or he may put it down as a lack of oxygen provoked by the rockfall. Or Bradley's alive! What the hell does that mean? Bradley didn't actually die. Sanity, he's probably part of it, to be honest. It was all for show. That would be... Oh my god, wait. He has to be, right? Let's assume that we're not dreaming at this point, right? Officer Bradley is alive and unharmed. There's no, like, he didn't, he doesn't even remember doing any of this stuff. So it seems like it could have been, like, Bradley is part of it and worked out a deal or a plan because he knew that he was entering in. Uh, Charles saw that it was him and then just pretended to kill him, right? Because he doesn't want him to die. He knows him. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how sane really, uh... Charles is, right? Like, how coherent is he at this point? Like, is he- does he still like the normal Charles? Just understands more about everything? Okay, this is my sanity meter. Confident in your abilities and your critique mind, you conduct your investigation. Your conclusions are logical and reliable right now. Oh! Well, that's good. Oh, I have a point. Okay, let's put that to, um... Uh... Based on his or her behavior. Yeah, let's do it for psychology. Get up to 50 first. And then... <sighs> good lord, this game. This game, dude. All right, so back here, couldn't open- oh wait, I can. Locked. Please don't jump scare me. I am not in the mood for jump scares. What the hell? That is a restraint and a half. What is in here? A bed. Okay, so they're different. Jesus! The, the guys are strapped to the bed! What if he has- Jesus, man, that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, he's a- he's walking around. Hey. I'll talk to this guy. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Oh, oh yeah. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, look at his arms, dude. Wait, seriously, what's wrong with his arms? Poor wretch. 
Do you? Does anyone else see that? That's not. That's not right. That's not normal. It's like he has claws. All right, man. <laughs> Some of you guys really hate the the amount of um, uh, I guess fear that's instilled upon me. You guys have to understand something. I'm sitting in a dark room. I'm an excitable and fear-based person in general. Like, things startle me very easily. So that, that relays into how I play games. And when I immerse myself with volume all the way up on surround headphones, like over the ear, everything else is canceled out. I'm in a dark room. Things get scary, dude. Everything bothers me. And when I immerse myself into the story like this, things like that creep me out. That is, it's crazy. The mind, man. Madness in general is, I was just talking to Icy about this the other day. It's just like, the, the thought that madness could be actually an expansive understanding of much more than what we are as humans. And it just, your brain, our tiny brains can't process all of that. Oh, this guy isn't here anymore. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's move forward. I know you guys are curious. So am I. Okay. Dr. Colden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. Oh, no. You keep them in this Please don't kill her. Terrible place as if Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Except you. That's fine, right? What about these guys on their work shift? Can they leave? Damn oh, it! God! Pierce! I'll have to find a way of getting Shut rid of those two myself. I don't need a startle from the character I'm playing as, okay? Escape from the asylum, create a diversion, okay. What is this? What's in here? <gasps> Wait! What the hell was that? Do I have claustrophobia or something? Oh, a panic attack is setting in. Are you kidding me? Dude, that is actually really neat. I like that a lot. So if you stay in there for too long, you have a panic attack. And you- it's- it's like a time limiter, basically. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. Oh, right. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will ya? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Ha <laughs> it's okay. Can this guy seriously shut up? It's actually- it's actually old at this point. Please stop. That's an exit. That's good, right? There's a guard. Okay, can't go down there. I love the leaning mechanic. I think- I feel like this all originated from frictional games. And, um... Oh, not Amnesia, but the ones before that. I actually am currently forgetting the name good of it, God. which is kind of disgraceful. What could this machine be used for? Whoa. Whoa. What? Good God, indeed. Okay, I'm gonna look around first. Let me look at all this stuff. Look at this. Jesus Christ, they keep it out what in the open, too. Here? Like, they have a lower floor that apparently is accessible and only guarded by two people. And then, once you get in there, everything is out in the open. We just- all of our secrets are out in the open. You'd imagine there'd be, like, some secret door, like in the mansion. <sighs> Medical records of Francis Sanders. Uh, according to this record, the patient seems to be suffering from psychosis, of course. He gouged his own eyes out in an attack of delirium. God damn it. That's what I figured it was. I'm thrilled to read that. I don't want to hear his story, to be honest. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not turning on this machine, am I? <gasps> oh, no. He's dead. Oh, he's carved up. <laughs> this game has turned into- The corpse is Whoa! complete. Whose are these limbs? You said that incredibly calmly, dude. I mean, I, I know we're in a weird place right now, but dude, those bugs are huge. Seriously, shouldn't you be like, uh, what the fuck's going on here? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? You're a private investigator. Hey, look at the toe tag. Uh, you're a private investigator? So, y why are you asking all the questions that I'm asking? Oh, hiding spot. Okay. Alright, let me walk around here. Oh. Power. Peek. Nothing. Peek. Oh, 
guard over there. Okay, so they're patrolling as well. Nice. Okay, let's go in here. Let's find out what we're looking for. Worse and worse. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. Not even sanitary. Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. This guy is unmoved by all of this. What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation? Hello. What in the fuck is all this? Jesus Christ. Oh, here we go. Yes. Do the cops know what's going on? Oh, wait, doesn't the badge have a badge number? Couldn't I figure out who this is? I guess not. This bloodstained badge belongs to a Darkwater police officer. What was he doing in the cellars of the Riverside Institute? It's probably Bradley, dude. Not even gonna lie, I'm pretty sure he's in on everything. He is in on everything. Okay, I guess I could just turn the machine on, man. Oh, wait, no. Hey. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? I guess I'll try. What is this? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. What is it, amperage? All right, let's flip it, dude. Have I activated anything? I, I don't know, but is that not going to sig signal other people? Oh, yep, I activated this. No one's going to notice this seriously. Okay, fine, whatever. I know where to hide if I need to do something. Wa I can still increase the load. How? Okay, I can't turn this back down now. Uh, I don't have many options, my guy. Stop doing that. I can still increase the load. Okay, maybe there's something out here, right? Because the cords go all the way back? Alright, let's try not to mess this up. Okay, I think we're alright. We're alright. Okay. Nothing back here. Ooh, a library. Okay. They have lights, right? So I can see when they're coming. Oh, shit. Hello. All right, keep going, dude. Aha. Okay. Yes. It's done. Now for the others. Wait. What? What are the others? What? Get in the archives, dude. Go. Close the door. All right. We're in the archives. Weird stuff. I'm actually surprised that this kind of room exists. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Sarah Hawkins was interned at Riverside for fits of insanity a while before her death. She wasn't at her f first attempt with the fire. At the mansion. Wait, she wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. Wait, wait, wait. Are they saying that she was in here after the fire, which means that her death was fake? I think I might be misunderstanding the uh, chronological order of all this information, but it seems like what Dementia, it could be. Self-inflicted wounds. A document attesting to the fact that Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders, had her husband interned after he had shown grave signs of madness. Yeah, this guy ripped his eyeballs out, so, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Okay. Well, archives is, uh, is a bust. I mean, we... Getting shown signs of things we already pretty much knew, and can I make it out of here? Yes. Okay, just follow this guy. I wonder if I can knock him out. That would be fun. Don't scream, please. Can't open that door. Dude, is that me? He looks like me. Dude, okay, I'm getting weirded out here. Okay, I can hide right here. That's nice. Oh my god! <sighs> you psychotic bastard! One, two, three. Come on, show yourself. I, I, I think I'm at the back gate. My calculations are always right. I saw something over there. Shut up. It's 
go away. That's pretty, that's the, that's the okay. I, I don't know what this day is, but the calculations. This guy. Right. Four days, maximum. He's the one that's gonna tell me uh, the quote from that trailer. Hey, bud. Uh, I don't know where he is. Where is he? Get in! Okay, go! Oh, you gotta stay hidden. Stay hidden. I know it sucks. I know it sucks, dude. Just let him go. Get out of there and breathe. Whew. Oh, he goes down there. Okay, so I gotta slip past him. I don't want to get too close to anything crazy. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So I'm going to go down here actually. See if I can uh, interact with any of these crazies. Counting down the days. That's good. It's always good. Uh, oh, there's a hiding spot right there. And. Okay. So I'm actually going to sit here and wait because I have no idea where he is. What? He doesn't see me. No, stop. You stop it. Dude, what? What? No! You there. God damn it! What's gonna happen? What the fuck? How in the hell did he see me there? That's so dumb. So this one's done, and I gotta go over here and get grabbed by this crazy fool. Thank you. And then I'm gonna run over here. Oh shit! No! Oh. Oh, he's dumb. He's the dummy. He's a dummy. <laughs> what an idiot. Wait, I wonder how long I can actually stay in here. Uh, that effect seems to be growing. Yep. Oh, I'm going to die, actually. Pass out? Fall through the thing or what? Go away. Just go. Okay. Getting out. Oh, dude, that was nuts. What is well enough inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength of oceans. It's waves it rise oh, and crash. Don't let me sit in this If he does not catch me, if he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. I do not hear him. He does not call me. He does not. Yeah, the call of Cthulhu. I get it. Okay. You, yeah, you there. Come if here. you do not stop, I, don't I know catch what you. you're doing there, but you don't seem to be free. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep. You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here, except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah, and in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. Ah. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Yeah, I want to ask him. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a deal. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Okay. Will do, good sir. In the meantime, I gotta get- I gotta turn on the power, I think, for all this. Oh no, I gotta distract that one guard. That's what I gotta do. Okay. He's like right here, isn't he? Oh! <gasps> no, he was on the other side! I'm a dumbass! <laughs> that was way too close. Alright, let's see. Storage room. Where might this storage room be? Okay. Hello? Any guards? Exit. Oh, I'm back here. Nice. Locked. Exactly what I need. What, the keys? Okay, well, where is store? Aha! Storage. Didn't this work. padlock is too complicated for me. What? It's no use. 
The padlock won't give. Okay. I guess that's part of the story, or do I have to have my strength up, or intelligence, or what? I don't even know if there's an intelligence stat, to be honest with you. Is there anyone walking around in here? Acted horror. Jeez. I tried to be quiet for some reason, as if that would stop him. Okay, I think he's gone, right? Okay, he's gone. Dude, that's kind of nuts. I didn't even see him there. Sneak past him. He's cutting up stuff. Aha! Okay, yes. Okay, yes. Anything? Give me the keys. Yes. Unlock. Yes. Open. Come on. Get back. Close it. Okay. <laughs> we made it. I gotta go, uh... Oh, storage room. Right. Wait! It's no use. The padlock won't what? give. What keys did I get? Do I have an inventory? <laughs> I don't actually know what I got. Uh, key to the maintenance room and the guards room. Okay. Maintenance and guards room. That's strange. Shit. Go away! Okay, we're good. Whew. I love how he just drops his curiosity right away. Like, that's it. He's like, yeah, I think I saw somebody- Eh, forget about it. I got something else to do. Oh, pharmacy. Oh, God! He saw me through that? Oh, shit. Okay. okay that guy's gone. Should be okay to go into the storage rooms here. Where do they oh, no, this keep is the pharmacy. Sleeping pills. Oh, <gasps> yes. My God. new friend's sleeping pills. Yes, but what does this say? History of medicine. Yes. Yes. Increase those stats while we're here. Scopolamine, morphine, opium. Nothing but common drugs. Shit. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. There's stuff to find in here. While this guy's looking around? Okay, fine. We'll find whatever you need. What are you? Oh, the door this... is blocked on the other side. Okay. Shit. 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 Don't see me, please. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Okay, he turns back around. Okay, he never comes on this side. That's good. I'm happy about that. Go away. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. A control wow. wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Yes. Look at all these bandages, dude. Just kept on these disgusting boards. Oh, I got everything. Oh, okay. Good. I thought there was going to be parts like the last time. Okay. You need to go away, good sir. I have to get out of here. Yes. Yes. I actually am curious to make sure. I want to make sure I got everything in here. Which way? Crap. That way. Okay, go that way. I think I got everything. Looks like it. Okay. I'm just going to go. Storage room done. That guy's right there. Don't look. Don't look. Okay. I don't know what's in the kitchen. But I'm not even going to bother now. Oh, dude, we fucking made it. Jesus, what is this? Haha, -ha, medicine. Dude, I'm increasing that like crazy. Oh, never mind. It's only two per. I forgot. <laughs> it's actually not that much. Okay, where did I come from, though? Was it over there? No. It was right here. No, that was storage, right? Oh, it was right here. Ah. I've got what you want. There you go, buddy. Show me. Give sleeping pills. Yeah, dude. There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, <laughs> you'll have your diversion. Thanks, go on dude. Now. Go hide yourself. <laughs> the crows! Mr. They're everywhere. Sandman. Make them go away. I don't know where to hide actually. <laughs> while he's doing that. So I need to go this way and run over to where that one guard was sitting. I wonder if that's him. So far so good. I think. What is in he oh shit. Oh, he's right there. Oh my god! 
<gasps> Ooh, that's not good at all. What? What carnage? Jesus. Why does everyone that is dead or on a painting look like me? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is absolute carnage. Are you kidding me? Uh... Are they reanimating people? What? Alright, I guess the only thing I can do in here is switch this. I feel like I'm gonna have to hide. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Oh, yeah, right. You're right. I got you. I got all four. Why do I have to... Why do I have a hiding space in here, though? I don't like that. Oh, he's gone. Uh... Oh, is this the kitchen? There's stuff in the kitchen. Oh, wait. Got a wheel. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, no. He saw me. All right. Well, I'm just running back, dude. Screw this. Hopefully, he's not coming this way. Damn it. I'm gonna have to hide in something. I'm gonna hide right here. Alright, he's going that way. I think I'm in the clear from that guy. Alright, I gotta hide again. Just to get back. I probably should have gone the other way, but whatever. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We're in the clear. Alright. We're free! We're free! Push to one lever. There we I go. I can still increase the load. What? Oh, the green one? Where does the where does the green one go? Oh, it's all the way back here. Well, perfect. Around this room, and down. Oh shit! You'll find it. You can save it. Let's calm down, please. How have I not seen this yet? Pain is just information, dear Francis. Invaluable information for my research. Kill me! Kill me! What? If you don't kill me, he will. My poor friend, I fear your mind is lost forever. Is he dead? Did he actually kill him? Oh yeah, I forgot I had two keys. All right, so there's that. I can hide here. Let me close this door. Close it. Hey, thank you. <sighs> Where does this go? Locked. The door is blocked on the other side. Vent. That's good. Wait, 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 wait. My guy. Is that seriously a hiding spot? Get out. We gotta flip the switch first. Yeah, I guess my, I guess I guess he has claustrophobia. That's interesting. I never would have thought. All right, flip the switch. Come on. All the levers are activated. Now, where does this go? I'm very curious. It's not that bad, dude. You should calm down. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. What? It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Okay, we'll get something better. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Oh, I have the valve. Am I supposed to do this yet? This might lead to another area. Like, not a new area, but the same area that I've been in. Oh. Memo to staff. Dr. Fuller. I've repaired your machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged and I fear the gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you. If the equipment is put too under too much pressure, there's a risk of explosion. Oh, fantastic. Whoa, what is down there? Hello? Okay, I need to go turn the power back on though. I mean, I'm hoping this leads somewhere. Oh, it does! It leads all back to the same place. Note to staff, last week's incident caused significant damage to the infrastructure, putting the stop are putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas uh, stopcocks must be kept in the storage room after each use. Moreover, uh, you must keep the register of the use up to date. Okay, is someone talking to me? <sighs> Investigation. Ah! Yes! Wait, is someone Perfect. on me? 
Oh, cool. All right, so we need to flip this switch. Like ASAP. Here we go. Flip it. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Damn it. Shit. I didn't think it was going to be right there. Get in. I needed to distract the guards. For what exactly? Didn't I already get a distraction from that one guy? Dude, I'm going to end up falling out of this thing. Come on. I'm just getting out. I got to get out. Escape from the asylum. That's what I'm going to do, I guess. Yeah, he's still in that room. I don't know where to go, though. All right. Well, I think this is a good time to pause it. It's actually not the best time to pause it, but I have been playing for a very long time, so I need to cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification icon so you can get up to date when I upload the next video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Remember, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.